With the prevailing crisis in the northwest and southwest regions of Cameroon and the COVID-19 pandemic, the two regions hasn't experienced the Women's Day celebration for quite some years. This year, as part of activities to commemorate the 37th edition of the International Women's Day celebration, a two-day capacity building workshop to train some 50 women and girls was held in Boya. The workshop that took place at the Cultural Center Bongo Square was organized by Southwest Regional Delegation of Women Empowerment and the family with sponsor Buford Light. Our well, sort of training, it's a training for transformation. You know, women now do so many um, deal with so many things, especially the things that can sustain them. Because you know, subsistence agriculture deals with, with um, perishable things. And so women have learned how to turn those things which are perishable to make them try to transform them so that they can be sustainable for a, a period of time that can help them to succeed in selling without having losses. This is very important today because we have a lot of illnesses that are that have come up in our community and we've realized that our local traditional medicines are very, very important and they can help these, our women, to heal them. So we want to train them on how to transform ginger where they can easily use it for even for cough, even for cold, catar. And if you realize these are things that used to happen in the yesteryears, but at one point it's like we left our traditional values and came up with other things that we've been using. So we want to go back to that um, our traditional values. The facilitators. What I was I spoke to them today was about starting up a business from scratch, that anybody can start a business. Anybody. Whatever field of life you are involved in or whatever you are passionate about, you can start a business. But then you should know the basics. You should know the important things, the important questions to ask yourself. Because gone are those days when people went into business because they wanted to make money. That's what we taught in school, that you do business because you want to make profit. But we have gone past that time. Now you do, why do you do that? It's all about the why of the business. I've been training them on the various difficulties that we have here in Cameroon concerning agriculture. We all know that in Cameroon we produce more than we need. But like why are they still suffering from poverty? Why are we still suffering from hunger? So today we are actually seeing those points or those sections of agriculture that we neglect, but they are very, very important. Before the end of the day one, there were some practical demonstrations on how to process and preserve ginger and turmeric, which includes the washing, slicing, and drying method. With these, some participants express satisfaction from the skills acquired. We have learned how to process ginger and uh, to marry for the consumption of the human being. First of all, it helps in the economical development of the people for health reason and marketing, money income. I don't see how they slice ginger for the way they could dry first. We will be grand them so that we pack it down if we sell them easily. So at the time God will send one for a year for teach we plenty of things that we will do see up today. And I don't really understand today. So even the granny meal we will get them, when that ginger never dry and we will feed grand and fine. It will help us a lot because we will help to empower other women how to produce it. Who will benefit one because now I go talk for my meeting house. I go talk for my people for compound and my neighbor then. As I will tell them, say me the car register, you know, be the chance. So I'll go now, I'll tell them, say, so I don't go for the training, so I get the knowledge. So I will tell all them, especially for meeting house, for church house. So that I'll tell them they will really know which way I really can learn. Okay. Opportunities to write impactful projects in which the best of all was to be awarded were given to all the participants. On the last day of the workshop, after the pitching of projects, a woman who is commonly called First Lady was proclaimed the winner by Mrs. Ejage, the delegate. Wow. Mm -hmm.
As the brand manager of Premium Beer, Madame Laura Basoa assured the winner that her 1 million cash prize will be presented to her on the 8th of March at the headquarters in Berlin.